Oh, hey there, come on in. My name's Luke, and I promised you guys a new office tour, and it's happening right now. Let's get into it. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be short, but I'm gonna show you everything. Let's go to this area first. So, this is the living room hangout area slash take a nap or play Xbox. We have an Xbox 360 chilling right there. If you're trying to play some video games, we got Skate 3 uh, and GTA 4, and that's it. Uh, all the rest of the gaming happens elsewhere, but that's in there. That's actually the guy who behind, is behind the camera. That's Drew's Xbox, so thanks, Drew. Anyways, we got the couch here. It's great. I mean, get sick of editing. You just lay down. Just take a little nap. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on. This area, it's nice. I do enjoy it. Uh, but it's more or less just like a nice place. You can meet people, you can hang out, you can play games, whatever. Right here, we have kind of the packaging area. It's kind of too small. It's hanging off the side here, but this is our packaging for ALC Productions. If you don't know, I own a company called ALC Productions. We film weddings mainly with that company. We do some commercial work, but uh, I have to send my clients their videos. So I send it in this box and it has the little thing. So these are all boxes. I just have this on here because I just got the boxes. It's not like a, hey, look how cool this is kind of deal. But I do like those. Got a little record player. I don't know how to use it or have never turned it on. It's just a decoration. Then down here, we got the big boy. This has all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, it's got hard drives to extra cords to paper to files, stickers, cards. We got everything in here. This is just like a miscellaneous place for storage, but also I like to keep it, you know, tactical. So we have stuff in here that we can actually use. We'll move over here to the gear section. I like to call this like the prep room. I mean, I've barely been down here, but this is like the prep area because it fits both of my bags. The big one here is support gear, meaning monopods, tripods, sliders, lights, anything like that is inside of there. And then this big bag right here has all of our cameras, our lenses, all that kind of stuff. Then we have our backup bag over there if we need to bring a little bit of extra gear. We got a couple lenses because we got a wedding this weekend, so we're renting some stuff and obviously, We've got the C200 just chilling here. You can't just be hanging out without a C200. I bet you're wondering, well, I thought you were filming with the C200. Nope, we're filming with the GH5S because it's on the gimbal and it looks cool. Right here is a mountain portrait that my wife got me. Um, I love this. I think it's really cool and it makes me feel like I'm not just in a basement or downstairs. It makes me feel like I'm, I can look out this. It's like windows to mountains. I love it. Uh, we have a couple decorations. We've got BB-8 over here. Uh, this is really cool. My wife got me this. She knows I'm a nerd. She gets me nerdy stuff, so I love that. And then we got this. This is from the first short film we did at Covenant, the church I work at, it's called Forgotten Ways. We obviously haven't used this since, but it was just like a super fun, fun, fun thing. So it says Forgotten Ways on there still. But now I'm just using it as a decoration until we need it again. We'll see when that is. All right, let's move over here. Well, this is a really important spot, but we're gonna save that for last. Let's move over here. This is another gear wall. When I'm in my old office, this is where everything was. Even everything that was in that bin was all in here. It was horrible. So I'm trying to keep this more organized. This is the battery charging station here. Uh, you can see it's kind of jumbled, but it is very nice because we got C200 battery chargers up here, GH5 battery chargers, Canon battery chargers, Sony. We have everything. Drone, crane, two, anything you need charged here. I have it there so that when I'm prepping for a wedding, which the last video was about prepping for weddings a couple weeks ago. So if you haven't seen that video, link below. But when I'm prepping for weddings, which I'm doing today, I get all my stuff charging, get it all ready for the weekend because you do not want to show up to a wedding and have batteries that are dead. We also have my handy dandy little thing that makes labels. Uh, I'm pumped that I figured out how to use this finally because I label everything now. But anyways, I try to keep this area as minimal as possible, but also there's things on here I want it to be useful. I don't want it to just have a bunch of random crap. I mean, there's already like a random candle on here, but it's a good candle, so it doesn't matter. On the bottom here, we have like some extra gear that doesn't fit in that area, but I like it because it's kind of big down here. So we have two uh, messenger bags that we use, me and my second shooter on wedding days to hold lenses batteries, cards, that kind of stuff. We got the drone, which is the Mavic Pro. We have the Xeon Crane 2 here, and then we have a piece of junk Drobo. Don't buy Drobos, they're horrible. Uh, I have this one, and it died on me just randomly, and then I edit with one at my other job, and it sucks, so don't buy this. It's a piece of junk, but that's why it's sitting here. Anyways, let's move on. From this side to that side, we're almost finished, and it's awesome because this place is great. 
We have a couple file cabinets, lots of important files in there. Uh, right here, we have the Blue Yeti. It's a great microphone. USB, just plug it into a computer. Whenever, you probably don't know about this, but I was on a podcast called The Clueless Gamers. We used this mic to record it. And I don't know, maybe Clueless Gamers will come back one day. We'll, we'll see. We got right here, uh, you can see the speakers are on both sides. These are the CR, Mackie CR3s. They're cheaper, but they're really nice for monitoring audio. I think it sounds pretty clean and pretty close to what I'm supposed to be hearing. Got a pair of the PlayStation headphones on here because I got an old PlayStation down here. Uh, we have a PS4 Pro uh, upstairs, but this one is where I game on this monitor. So this is the 29 inch LG ultra wide. It's not 4K, it's just one of the 1080 ones, but it's really nice for gaming. Uh, I'm thinking about starting some Twitch stuff so that this area might transform a little bit, but right now I sit at this desk all the time to edit, to make these videos, to do weddings, to be emailing, on meetings, phone calls, like everything. I spend a lot of time here. I don't have a very fancy chair. I don't have like a big gaming chair. I have this Ikea chair. We got this Ikea desk. Uh, you know, I got the OG Apple, you know, keyboard and Magic Mouse. I also uh, obviously edit with the Logitech um, MX Master, but that's at my other job. I left it there. I usually swap it. I bring it back and forth, but I forgot it for some reason this weekend, but I, I can use that mouse too. This is a mid-2017 iMac, it's fully souped. Uh, has 64 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte SSD. It's nice, uh, it gets the job done. It came out like right before the iMac Pro, of course, but I couldn't wait to get an iMac Pro because I needed to edit, so I have this. It's a beast though, honestly, like this computer 4K video editing is, but I wouldn't be able to do the editing I do without this, and it's the final thing I wanna show you. This is the G-Speed Shuttle XL. This is 24 terabytes, RAID 5 configured, uh, it's really awesome. It gets about uh, a gig write, a gig read. It's Thunderbolt 2. There's Thunderbolt 3 ones out that are even faster now. There's even SSD versions of this, but that's like <laughs> very expensive. But this bad boy is awesome. It saved my life in some scenarios with backups and redundancy, but it also saves me a lot of time because I can edit footage off of this super fast. Um, and let me talk about my workflow real quick over here. So it's very important, and I'll make a whole nother video about this eventually uh, if you're interested but it's very, very, very important to have stuff backing up and have backups and backups and backups if you're doing video. So this is the G, this is like my main edit drive. Uh, you can't see back here, but underneath here is a 20 terabyte WD. Uh, it's like a MyBook Duo. It's awesome, it's USB-C, so it's pretty quick. But basically what I do is I use a software called Carbon Copy Cloner and that basically takes everything that's on my edit drive and puts it on that drive, so they mimic each other. They're exactly the same, so if my G-Speed falls off and everything breaks and I lose everything, it's all here. And then we have two WD 8 terabyte drives here, and they're, they're complete copies of each other. I do the exact same thing. As soon as we start to finish projects, archive weddings, we throw them on two backups that are the same, and then we put them on a shelf, one here, one somewhere else, keeps you at peace of mind. But as of right now, when we shoot weddings or shoot projects, we put all the footage on four drives. Like I always have it on four drives at a time because while you're editing it, you don't want, you just don't want to lose footage and I'm extra careful about it. So if you have the money to invest or if you're trying to figure out what to invest in, invest in really good backup gear and really good hard drives. But anyways, that's a whole nother route. That is the area. This area is awesome. And there's one last thing I want to show you here and it is this. It is an APC backup battery kind of deal. So on the back of this, it has my iMac, all my hard drives, all of that is plugged into this. So if our power goes out, this keeps it everything on for another hour. It's very important because if you're editing a video and it's thunderstorming and the power goes out, that could zap your hard drive. And that actually happened to my G-Speed uh, Shuttle XL. I was editing, it was thundering, and lightning happened. One of the drives in there died. Luckily, it's RAID 5, so all the footage was safe. But, you know, you don't want to put yourself in that situation. So make sure you get something like this to keep active, or get something bigger, or get your whole house like that. I don't, I don't know, this is just the one I have, and I think it's great. All right, so that is it. That is the whole studio. This place is an awesome, awesome place for me personally, because it just feels like I have my own space now, I have more room to be creative, which is really cool. Thank you so much for following along. Hopefully this was fun, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. There's lots of cool videos to watch. Like this video, share it, watch some of our other videos. But for now, I love all of you. You guys, I'll see you later.